Now, President Joe Biden has refused to invite President Museveni for a democracy summit in Washington. Yes, President Joe Biden has refused to invite President of Uganda for a democracy summit in Washington, D.C. And according to uh, political activist Fred Kajubi Lumbuye, uh, United States doesn't recognize President Museveni as the legitimate president of Uganda. Lumbuye also says Joe Biden can't stand any risk of being photographed in company of dictators who are flouting democracy and human rights. That is the story that I'm bringing to you right now. Kindly subscribe to the Buzz UG and uh, don't forget to hit the bell for all the notifications. My name is Fula. Now, Uganda has been left out of uh, the 110 state actors from uh, different parts of the world that have been invited for a democracy summit called by United States President Joe Biden, triggering off an angry reaction from uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Kampala. Now, the State Minister for Foreign Affairs in charge of international affairs, that is uh, Mr. Okelo Oriem, on Friday he said that Uganda is not desperate to attend the summit, but added that the removal of Uganda on the list was a big mistake on the part of the US government. Now, I want us to look at his own words. Yes, Mr. Okelo Oriem's words. Uh, he said, we are not dying to be there, but what we know is that whatever you are trying to do and ignore us, well, big mistake. A beat in democracy, beat in trade, beat in security. You cannot ignore us. You cannot do anything in the region without Uganda impossible <laughs> mr okelo oriem saying that statement right there it was on friday last week well in my own opinion i feel like what the president of us has done is very right i feel like uganda pretends to be a democratic country but no full democracy here mm, i feel like we don't have full democracy right here i want to give you some examples of serious bad things that have happened in uganda but their reports have never come out first of all Kasese killings that left over 150 people dead. The report has never come out and yet we know the killers of these people in Kasese. Just a day ago, it marked five years since all these people were murdered. But even their king is still in incarceration. So, how do you tell me that is democracy? I want to give you example number two. The November killings last year, after Bobby Wine was arrested. No security official has been prosecuted in connection to the killings. You know, last year, during the campaigns. We all know over 50 people were killed, but no report has been produced yet by the security agencies. So is that democracy to you really? I'm still giving you examples. Let me give you example number three. Look at the kidnaps and abductions happening in Uganda right here. Political persecution is happening here in Uganda. So that is not democracy to me. I don't know if that means democracy to you. So I'm telling you, there are very many bad things happening in Uganda. Surprisingly, the government of Uganda knows about them, but they have not been addressed. So for me, I feel like the president of US, Joe Biden, was very right to snub President Museveni on Democracy Summit. That is my own opinion. I don't know what you think about, you know, this whole snubbing of President Museveni, but uh, you can actually get to head to our comment section and you leave us with your comment right here and we shall be delighted having it right here. My name is Fuller. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly tap on that subscribe word on your screen and don't forget to hit the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.